Would you trade places with an animal in a slaughterhouse? Yes. And uh, what are you eating for Christmas? <laughs> I see we're being set up here. Yeah, I don't believe in death. Do you think that's a good reason to cut animals' heads off? In my heart, I am a vegan. I do eat meat from time to time. You sound like you're obsessed with this. Is Christmas a time for compassion? Excuse me, Santa. Hello. I have a question for what you. What would you like for Christmas? Um, I actually would like... I'll tell you after I ask you the question. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Is Christmas a time for compassion? Christmas is a time for compassion, empathy, kindness, all of the good things in life. Amazing response. Is Christmas a time for compassion? Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. First of all, love, you never go wrong with love. Love is always a good time. There's never a bad time for love. Compassion all year round. But the beauty of Christmas is it highlights compassion and love and brings that to everybody's attention. So, yeah. Is Christmas a time for compassion? Absolutely. Always. It's always. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And what about for animals? Animals. Oh, I love animals. Oh, you know, birds, dogs, cats, horses. Yeah. I love, even like Steve. He's a. He, well, he's not quite an animal, but <laughs> animals. Absolutely. Cruelty to animals is not on the agenda. Animals are sentient beings. Yeah. We love animals and, and people, and we're all we're all living creatures on this planet, sharing together. And what about for animals? Uh, I see we're being set up here. <laughs> <laughs> set up? What, what, what do you mean? Yes, one should be compassionate to everybody. Yes. Uh, all animals? Yes, all animals. And what about for animals? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah we try to. Uh, which animals? <laughs> all. All of them? Yeah, all. Yes, for sure. Uh, which animals? <laughs> all animals really, like, especially during Christmas time, like, they never really get a lot of love. So I think it's really important to, like, you know, be kind to one another and, like, animals as well. Yeah. Like, there was a dog coming around here with a ball. It was so much fun to play with it. But, yeah. <laughs> and what are you eating for Christmas dinner? Well, I'm actually singing on Christmas Day for Reverend Bill Cruz Exodus Foundation okay. with, with Robert. Yeah. And, and what about, are you having, like, a tur there. turkey there? Well, Turkey? Reverend Bill puts on a good spread. Turkey? Yep, yep. He puts on the works. And uh, what are you eating for Christmas? <laughs> Unfortunately, meat, probably. Really? What, like turkey or...? Turkey. Can I ask you another question? Uh, what are you eating for Christmas dinner? What am I having? Pudding. What about your main? Are you having turkey? Main? Or... Um, honestly, I haven't planned it yet. Okay. But I love popcorn, so I might have popcorn. And can I ask you another question? You can ask Are me. you a vegan? You know, it's interesting you ask that. In my heart, I mean this sincerely, I am a vegan. Yeah. I do eat meat from time to time. What are you eating for Christmas? I don't even know. But I think, I'm, like, I'm vegetarian slash vegan anyway, so we yeah. always have, like, a vegetable skewers and barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what my family eats, and, like, bread. Yeah. Same thing, vegetarian, but I have family. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm vegetarian as well on Christmas. Do you think turkeys deserve compassion at Christmas? Well, that's, I think everything deserves compassion. And what about by not cutting their heads off and putting them on the dinner, like, on the dinner table as the centrepiece? Ah, oh, interesting, isn't it? Ah, oh, OK. I, I have friends who are vegetarian and vegan and all that stuff. Will you go vegan? At my age, I doubt it. I'm, I'm over 900 years old, you know? <laughs> You know, I think you should because uh, if we care about animals, we should be vegan. You know, it's an interesting question, isn't it? But, you know, everything in the universe consumes something else. Even, even stars consume each other and black holes consume stars. Stars absorb other stars to exist. Do you think that's a good reason to cut animals' heads off? I think, well, it's a very deep question, isn't it? I think it's not a deep question. I think it's very easy. It's, would you trade places with an animal in a slaughterhouse? Yes. You would, you'd trade places with an animal in a slaughterhouse. If, well, if, to have your head cut off. Yes. If need be, but not need be, for someone to eat your body at Christmas time. See, I don't believe in death. What do you mean you don't believe in death? It doesn't exist. So animals aren't having their heads cut off in slaughterhouses? Nothing has ever died. That makes no sense. It does to me. I can assure you animals are having their heads cut off in yeah. brutal you bloodbath see, I, I slaughterhouses. I died and come back. Nothing ever dies. Do you eat animals? I do. Would you ever consider being vegan? I've cut down. I think the options for vegans are just too hard and the dietary need requirements are not necessarily met. And have you ever considered being vegan? I was vegan. <laughs> you were? I was vegan for one month. For one month? But then like I saw a meat pie and I failed. But you know I actually did want to be vegan. I didn't really care much about the animals. It's just like 
I thought uh, I prefer being vegan. There's no difference between eating meat or like vegan supplements. But... Why, why don't you care about the animals? <laughs> um, uh, because I feel like I don't know. I just do you do you care about dogs? Uh, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. So why not other animals? Because uh, dogs are domesticated and cows and stuff are just there. What do you mean cows are just there? Well, if you're not. They're not just there, they're obviously bred into existence, forcefully bred into existence, and then they have like a date in the calendar where they'll, you know, that date they will be killed and sent off to supermarkets. Did you know that we can be completely healthy on a vegan plant-based diet? Possibly. There's actually a lot of scientific evidence and that suggests that we can be completely healthy. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good cause, but you do push it too hard. That's because animals are having their heads cut off in slaughterhouses, so it's a pretty big deal. If it was you, you catch, in a slaughterhouse you catch having more, your... You catch more with okay. honey, that you, you move yeah. people, you move people. Yeah. If and it was you in a slaughterhouse, I'd be, I'd be defending you the same way. Thank you. I would. Have you ever seen animals uh, in slaughterhouses, footage of animals in I've, slaughterhouses? I've worked in nursing for 25 years and I've seen people die. Uh, animals, yeah. though. Have you? I've wrapped up. I've seen dead animals bodies. Uh, I've be up killed. Dead bodies. I've washed old ladies. You know. I've uh, well, seen animals you know, have their heads I, cut I off. I believe in compassion for humans first off. And we can also be compassionate to animals as well. Oh, believe me, I am. All, all animals and humans. You know, compassion for everything. <laughs> when you p purchase like a turkey's body in the store, that's not very compassionate. You know, I actually worked for the public health unit, and they went out there and where they slaughtered the, the chickens, and it's it's done with, um, it's very quick, you know, and boom, they're gone, you know. Would you trade places with the chicken? You know, I possibly could have been one. <laughs> Who knows? You wouldn't want to be a chicken though, about to have their head cut off in a Evolution, slaughterhouse. You know, we've all been everything, you know, in life. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old. We've all been everything. Well, I'm not sure really, really what to say because I don't, it's I don't know if you're fair. not really. And you're very but, young. but you're not like following. Obviously, animals are being having their heads cut off in slaughterhouses. You definitely wouldn't trade places. So therefore, you should be vegan. Um, I would give my life for certain circumstances. You know. But animals are not consenting. Because I know that I'll never die. Animals don't consent to go in slaughterhouses. They're not will, willing participants in slaughterhouses. Hmm. What about all the men who have gone to war? What does men uh, in war have to do with animals being killed in well, slaughterhouses? They didn't go to die, did they? Yeah, but then. They died because of politics. Yeah, but but they that's. Died because of politics. But that's a completely different subject. Isn't We're really talking about animals who are animals. not willing participants being sliced in the neck, cut cut up into pieces against their will. <laughs> she wasn't very happy about that. Uh, she thinks that vegans are a bit pushy, but. I was just asking her a couple of questions. I don't think that was pushy. What is pushy is pushing animals into slaughterhouses against their will, cutting their heads off for a Christmas dinner. I wish the whole planet would be vegan. Yeah. It doesn't take much to become vegan. Yeah. So why aren't you a vegan? I'm, if it's so easy. Because I'm slack. You're slack. I'm, I'm slack. But what about the animals? If you thought yeah, about absolutely. from the animal's perspective? I, look, of course. I mean, um, of course. Because I don't think we'll ever get be planet free of meat, but meat should be very expensive so that less animals get killed and there's no wastage and we only have to kill what we need to eat, not have any... I actually life. have a solution. Please. So, if you care about animals, what you could actually do is yep. you could easily be vegan and what you could think, because in your heart you said that you're, you're already a vegan. Absolutely. So if you're already vegan in your heart, yes. all you have to do is... Just change your actions, right, not eat animals, and think about it, right? You wouldn't want to be in their position. You wouldn't want to trade places with them. 100%. From the meat that I had like 20 years ago, it's like 10% of what I had. So I'm on but the right But for those track. animals, that is the, those little animals, they're still having their heads cut off in slaughterhouses, which I are agree. horrific places. Absolutely, absolutely horrific. So I feel like you should be vegan. I should be vegan. I agree with you. So will you go vegan now? I don't know about now, but I'm on, the, I'm on the road. Have you ever heard of obsessive compulsiveness? Uh, yes, why? You sound like you're obsessed with this. Uh, because animals are being decapitated against their will, it's disgusting. Would you ask a chicken if it would be willing to get its head cut off? Chickens don't want to have their heads cut off though. Interesting, isn't it? It's a very complex universe. It's not complex, it's very simple. Chickens don't want to die and we shouldn't kill them because we would never trade places with them. I think we could talk for hours, and I could. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Have you ever thought about being vegan? Yeah, I have. So she's a strong advocate for veganism. Yeah. <laughs> veganism? Yeah. yeah. We see the health benefits of it as yeah. well as like the benefits for animals as yeah. well and protecting wildlife. Yeah. yeah. Have you told her what happens in the dairy industry? You know what? I've seen the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like they impregnate the cow. Yeah. And oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they take her baby and yeah, you know, continuously yeah. use her for milk and then kill her. At the end yeah. And she's yeah. yeah so it's so like I already. I haven't completely gone to veganism yet, but I've already stopped eating beef and pork and like a lot of animals. Cause like, you know, animal cruelty and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of like on the process to it. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about the lovely days. We just went to a high tea. Yeah. And they had a full vegan menu, which nice. was so, which was really yeah. nice. So yeah. it's nice that there's more options. Yeah. Because we want people to be vegan for the chickens and the turkeys, especially turkeys at Christmas time, because everyone's eating turkeys and yeah. they're really amazing animals. We actually saved a uh, turkey last year and she was incredible. Just like a puppy, like she would come and lay with us and she won pats and she was so sweet. And it's horrible to think that they're like bred into existence, enslaved in factory farms and horrible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so horrible because they're literally born just to have like a you know a date where they're like right you'll be killed on this day. Exactly. It's crazy. We would never want that to happen to dogs or anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're all so lovely, so I think that you should all be vegan because yeah. you care about animals. So yeah. have an amazing vegan Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. What do you think about that animals being killed? I think it's bad. I think it's a product of anthropocentrism. What is that? What is that? The belief that humans are superior to yes. other animals. Yes. yes, that's very true. Because we do, we think we're, we're like superior beings that we can just breed, breed them into existence. Sentient beings, a lot like dogs, a lot like us. Also that we can eat their flesh. It's we, the media. Yeah, and the society. actually it is. Yeah. So we're like conditioned as from a young age to eat animals. And see them and, as other and inferior. Yeah, exactly. But it's a, it's actually a, called speciesism. So we view like certain animals, so like a dog, we'll be like, love the dog, a chicken, yeah. cut their head off and eat them, which is pretty messed up. I feel like you should be vegan. I feel like you were giving me points. With, it's why just hard, it's just hard. <laughs> why is it hard? Because like meat is so accessible and easy. Yeah. And normal to eat. Yeah. What about if vegan food was normalised? Then yeah. 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 It is, it's everywhere. Every store you can get vegan food. Even like, I don't know if there's like Hungry Jack's down here, but the Hungry Jack's has a vegan burger. So it's very easy. And I'll tell you an easy way to look at it is that you wouldn't want to trade places with the animal in the slaughterhouse when they're having their head cut off, right? So you shouldn't pay for someone else to do that to another sentient being when you wouldn't want it to happen to you. You're right. So, will you go vegan? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good news. I hope you have a good Christmas. <laughs> hey, come in. Katrina, have you spoken? Hello. You've got to talk to Katrina. I'm vegan. I'm 26 You're vegan. years. Amazing. I've just, my wife's here and she's got vegan sausage rolls. Amazing. That's great. We actually saved a turkey last year and she was amazing. And when you see them as like an individual who's having this, they're a subject having an experience just like us. They have feelings, families, they want to live. It's easy to remember that we shouldn't be sending them to slaughterhouses and killing them. And it's so cruel how they grab the baby calf yeah. when it's born. Literally, it doesn't even get a chance to have any colostrum from the mother. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. It sounds like you're already on our side. I'm on your side, so baby. I hope to see you again as a vegan. You bet you. I was just asking people if uh, Christmas is a time for compassion, and then I was going to ask them why they're not vegan. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's a very good question. Yeah. But yes, it's, it's so easy to go yeah. vegan. I say my wife's here. She's made yeah. vegan sausage rolls. There you go. With V2 sausages, and yeah. they're just amazing. We don't need yeah. to eat animals no. or harm animals exactly. in any way. Exactly. We can so. easily be vegan exactly. and have a vegan Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's great to hear you're vegan. I hope you have a lovely vegan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.